food shortages. Sounds pretty grim. They've been worn down mentally and physically. We have to act now. <sighs> Time to eat then, no? Hey man, I just wanted to say, uh, you're doing a pretty good job, all in all. Ref, you used to be cheering me up. Makes it all the more... Precious. here and you can't stop me this reminds me Okay, next on the list is... It's just so verdant here. 
very different from back home. Both places have their merits. I like Colony 9, too, of course. The fields are over there. I'm always agog at the splendor of these fields. This field, how ample its furrows. They seem to be growing nicely. Yes, they should be ready for harvest soon. It's best to pick them just as soon as they start to wilt. You let them wilt? Even after nurturing them so carefully? You get a larger yield this way. Incredible. So, they're not actually dying, but rather making way for new life, much like us. Now that you mention it, yes. All life is built upon some kind of sacrifice. Indeed. Life is a cruel thing. Now that we are free of our flame clock, I am all the more aware of this fact. I don't believe we've been acquainted yet. Zeon, commander of Colony 9. I do apologize for this sudden visit. Juniper, I also act in the capacity of commander for Colony Tau. We're here today to ask for your advice. Oh, do tell. Hmm. In the natural world, some plants contain toxic elements, usually to fend off predators. I'd guess that these belong to that category. I was afraid of this. It must have been frustrating. Yes. For the whole colony. I don't mind the toil myself. Such was my decision. But as for my friends, I'd rather... they simply enjoy the result. I understand. I know that feeling. I'd like to suggest a different crop, drawing from our experience here. Would you wait here a moment, please? Phew! Finally caught up! You took your sweet time. Sorry. I lost my bearings. So, uh, did you figure out the issue? Oh, sorry to keep you. Look here. These will grow even in the harshest. And you are? Uh, Kite. Lieutenant from uh, Connolly 9. Hello, Kite. I'm Juniper. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh! What the? Why is my chest? Um. Uh, just ignore me. I'm fine. Are those my imitators? Oh, yeah, they do look similar. They're not, right? No, they're toxic. I knew it. This is one of Agnes's kite. It's true. When considering root vegetables, poisonous tubers are relatively common. However, these spongy buds are... Huh? <laughs> it's sweet. Already more than edible. You mean it's safe? Really? Yes. I think I'd bake him first myself. Silence, Lance. These buds, they're the pride and joy of our colony. I'm so glad you like them. Really. I don't... Where do you find this trust? These were our enemies. Yes, but not now. I get that. I know that. But still, if only you weren't Agnion. I'm sorry we put you through that. It's perfectly fine. I think you should talk to your soldier in private, though. Let me be clear. We do not bear any ill will toward Colony Tower, nor do we... I didn't mean as a commander. More as one person to another. Your friends. Didn't you want them to be happy, rather than toiling and struggling in vain? <sighs> 
And one more thing. The pivotal factor is the soil. Soil? Check to make sure that there's earth wormwood growing in your fields. I'll forward the steps you'll need to take to your iris for reference. <laughs> Did I say something funny? No. I'm just pleasantly surprised at how earnest you are. I'll take a look as soon as we're back at the colony. Oh, and if you've any problems on your end, would you allow us to lend our support? Problems? It wouldn't feel right if the goodwill only went one way. Am I right? I understand. Let me consider. I'm glad we could talk. We'll make some wonderful fields yet. I look forward to that day. Huh! <sighs> Would you believe it? Time to eat then, no? Colony relations change, looks like. This earth is what matters. Hey, you know what happens if you pull out earthworm? Its roots wriggle around and stuff like they're alive. Gives me the creeps. Stop trying to worm your way out of this. According to Juniper's information, the presence of earthworm would improve the soil's drainage. In other words, it makes for Earth that is best suited for potato growing. All right, already. I guess we just get on with it, yeah? We just get on with it. Can't find a single one of them. I guess it's not the best soil. I knew it was just some kind of trick. There was no way it was going to be that easy. Look here, you. Enough, Lance. Kite, I know you're worried about the fields. Come over here and let's talk. No need. I don't have anything to say to you. Right. Um, we probably want to check out some other sites, I guess. Right. There should be some untended land not far from the colony. Let's do a sweep. We'll update you if we find anything. Sparks. What's wrong with me? Huh. Would you believe it? about it biting. Looks like we found our spot. I'll inform Kite. You think he'll actually help us? Don't worry. He's a bit delicate in some areas, but when he starts something, he will see it through. Hmm? What is it? I've lost contact. What a jerk. Now he won't take your calls. Whoa, now. We should probably hear his side of the story, yeah? Let's stop stirring the pot. I've already talked to him, but it didn't prove very effective. He's taking this personally, so it'll probably take some time. Both of you are being too quick to judge. Don't be so hasty. Hasty? It's like Juniper said. 
You need to speak to him man to man, not soldier to soldier. Like how you talk to Lance. Oh, yeah. Why are you and Lance always fighting anyway? He just gets on my nerves. Sorry, what? I'm back at you, pal. Excuse me? I don't think that counts as fighting, Senna. Yeah, they're just having some banter. That's how you should be with Kite, too. You're always talking on a commander lieutenant level. I hadn't realized. So I've been issuing him orders instead of talking to him on an equal footing. Talk to him again. I think it'll go better this time. Yes. Perhaps it will. I'll try. Hey, Kite, what do you want? We've good news. We found a plot that will be perfect for farming. Really? That's great! Uh, I mean, well, that's just great in the eye-rolling sense. So you won't help us out? Well, I never said that. Talk to us, boss. You're going to get your hands muddy or not? Yes. All right? I'll do it. I'll do my snuffing job. Okay, so, what are we planting? The spongy spuds. Juniper's already told us how to grow them. Oh, here we go again. Well, don't grumble. That potato was truly delicious. Fine. Whatever. Just give me the spuds. Uh, what? Of course. We still need potatoes to plant. You didn't get them ready? Uh, we were so focused on looking for earthworm wood. It happens. This isn't like you, Commander. Did you eat something funky? Nobody's perfect. Even the most scrupulous perfectionist is liable to err on occasion. All right, just hurry up and get some. Spongy spuds, right? Let's start with about 10 of those. We'll gather them as fast as we can. Shall we meet again in the fields? Sure thing. Just send me the location by Iris. Huh. Would you believe it?
a rare thing? Is that... Is that...? Now we can finally get planted. No, that step comes last. First, we need to till the soil so that the seed potatoes can take root more easily. So what's that actually mean, till? I think I'm a bit lost. You toss the soil to trap the air in it, it seems. According to Juniper, there are three main layers of soil. Yeah, yeah, so we just rough it up a bit. I get you. Lands. The crudeness of your summaries never ceases to amaze me. There's not much point to it all, though, is there? Come on now. Don't be like that. Let's just do what we can. It'll only take two ticks. You and your ticks, man. It's not about speed. We need precision here, folks. Just follow the procedure I sent to your irises. Ask me if there's anything you're unclear on. OK, then, guys. Let's do this.
This is looking good. That was pretty fun, hey, Mimi? And now we water them. Ugh, I wish I was the one being watered. I stink of dirt. Should we wait for the rain in this instance? Yeah. I think it's best if we let nature take care of the rest. I get the feeling we should interfere as little as possible. But rainfall isn't always guaranteed. If you rely too much on the weather, it may come back to bite you. Then, what if you control soil humidity as you wait for the rain? And if ever the rain doesn't come for a while, then you can water your crops yourself. That sounds smart. Let's wait a while and see how things unfold. You just leave that to us. Oh, what? Theon and the others aren't going to stick around here forever. Who else is there? Well, besides, it'll only take two ticks. Kind. Can I trust you to handle it? Yeah, go on then. Come back and have a look after the rain, though, would you? Right, we'll do. If only my presence brought the rain. Once again, I'm powerless. Indeed, that's definitely where the problem lies. to see a new face. Uh. Huh? Is that... <sighs> so, uh, why isn't anything budding? The seed potatoes are rotting. Perhaps we gave them too much water. Oh, no. Does the soil not drain properly? Or was it something else? It's my fault. I was giving them extra water from time to time, because I didn't want them drying out. Fuck! I thought I was being careful. Never considered that I might be overdoing it. <sighs> well... We'll just have to try this again. Let's wait for the next rainy spell. Sorry, guys. Don't blame it on yourself. 
Yeah, but if I hadn't done this, we wouldn't have to... Oh, if only! What's done is done, man. You can't change the past. So let's just recoup our losses and do even better next time round. Huh. That's a good attitude, Kite. I like it. I'm good either way, to be honest. Huh. Classic Eastman. Guess I'll stick it out for a while longer. Thanks, Kite. Credit where it's due? That was actually pretty good. His words came from the heart. I think that's why it resonated with them. Kite's always been annoyed at being second best. He knows the frustration of not living up to his own standards. And that really struck a chord. Complimenting others' weak points has always been a talent of his. It's something I could never do. Hey! I think we'll go ahead and till the soil again. Take out the rotted spuds. So, if you don't mind... Got it. We'll grab a new batch for you. I'm really sorry about this. We'll need you to get ten more seed potatoes then. Don't worry. We'll pick a really good selection this time. Just you wait. Gotta keep nice and limber. Hmm. Let me check. pass through here.
Now we wait for the rain. Come on, buds. Start your budding already. I've got a good feeling about this one. <sighs> Is that...? Did it? They're budding. Talk about suspenseful. Manana excited for yummy harvest. Hope they grow up big and strong. Yeah. We need to take good care of them. Looks like it's going well. Indeed. Now we can breathe a sigh of relief. We'll want to take care of the fertilizer now, right? How do we distribute it? Actually, I have just the person for that. Earl's a dab hand at gardening. I'm sure he'll be able to help us out if we explain our situation. I'd appreciate that. Incidentally, where did Kite go? Stormed off after saying he'd done his field tending duty. Guess he's still not over it. I suppose it's time for us to pack up. We can't just leave that guy alone. He's always been there for us, through thick and thin. I know. You don't need to worry about us. Make sure my lieutenant gets the care he deserves. Will do. Oh, and I'm pretty sure Earl will explain it for you, but you know the fertilizer. Seems you make it by crushing up seeds, bones and plants and mixing it all together. Oh, and he also said that having a few helix conches on you would save him some trouble. You'll get that done in ten ticks. Or else. <laughs> that might be a little tight for us, but we can certainly try. Huh. Would you believe it? Just give us a moment. Applying fertilizer ought to further foster their growth. So we just sprinkle the stuff on top and then we're done. Wrong. They need to be able to absorb the nutrition easily. So first, we combine the fertilizer with some soil. Then you spread the mixture around the roots. So specific. I've more or less memorized Juniper's info now. Let me know if there's anything you're unsure of. I can see his time in the survey branch has seeped in. 
right down to his marrow. I suspect he might have actually been born with it. He's just the meticulous type. That's about all we can ask for. I'm grateful. I'll let him know. All right. Guess it's back to the grindstone. Now to wait for more rainfall. Oh, I'm shaking with excitement. Are you really? Well, yeah. We all worked hard for this. You tell him, love. Let's see what the coming rain brings. Yeah! These little guys have come a long way. Day in springtime of youth. Growing up into fine young potatoes. Nothing gets Manana excited like the prospect of a full belly. Can you blame her? Resounding no. Huh? Why have they changed colour? Huh? Time to harvest them yet, surely. I dread to think so. But it could be one of the diseases mentioned in the reference materials. The damage seems to spread from the lesions here on the root. They bear resemblance to the black rot. Ah, oh, they better not be. That's supposed to cause rapid decay. Spreads easily too. Let's check the others for similar symptoms. On the double. Lend me a hand, everyone. here and you can't stop me um about that thing
Let's move up. I swear I'll save you. Don't fail me now. That looks to be all of them. We'll have to monitor them for a short while. Take note of the state of the stems, not just the color of the leaves. We should fix up the soil too, right? Think so. It's supposed to be bad if the underground bits are exposed to light. Might as well pull up the weeds while we're at it too, huh? Don't pull the potatoes themselves out. Mate, I can tell the difference. And then we hope for rain. <sighs> What's wrong? Oh, I was just thinking how times change. It wasn't so long ago that my sole thoughts were about keeping the flame clock topped up. Now here I am, worrying about soil and potatoes, looking up at the sky. I could never have imagined myself in such a position. True. Who'd have thought you'd chomp on a raw potato or admit to lacking a spine? <laughs> Please, don't remind me. I feel flushed just thinking about it. But I think we've grown a lot closer as a result. I feel like I know you better. Sometimes you don't really get to know someone until you've clashed first and then sorted out your differences. You don't beat around the bush, do you? Anyway, I think we've done what we can here. Let's report back into Juniper. Sounds a little rowdy over there. Uh, is that? It came from over there. Let's hurry. For the fields! You are not getting through me! I won't let their efforts go to waste! Kite! You lot! Talk later. Let's teach those creatures never to set foot upon this land again. We will defend this place with our lives. 
Show them there is strength in unity. People, how are we? We're fine, at least. They really tore up the place, huh? Sorry. I couldn't stop them. It's not your fault, Kite. Besides, you were the first to come running here. Don't feel bad. You were tending the fields, weren't you? Trying to keep them safe. The whole time. I couldn't just sit back. But... It was hardly any point. You shouldn't put yourself down. You? What are you? If I could just... I'll help you. Guess I don't know my own string. Thank you very much. Are those? I'm afraid I failed to mention something. Spongy's buds are quite special. They actually use the field itself as a means of storage. That's why you recommended growing them. Astounding. Sorry, I doubted you. The reason I didn't trust you before, it wasn't because you were Agnian. No, it's because I was weak. Now, I don't expect you to forgive me or anything like that. But I know I caused hurt. I'm so sorry. Now, come on, raise your head. You refused to give in. You struggled to change things for the better. The way I see it, that's not weakness. Not from what I hear, anyway. You don't... No, you... You don't even know me. Making a change, Kite. It takes guts. You're a good man. We didn't admit it. But then again, neither did you. You know what? No one's ever told me that. I'm sorry about that. I think from now on, I'll make an effort to remind you. Kite, you're an asset to us all. Commander, could I... Could you perhaps help me with a problem? If your offer of support still stands, that is? Sure. Ask us anything. Would it be possible to permit me to visit Colony 9 more frequently? Hmm? That's no issue for me. I'm not directly asking for help with a specific problem, but I'd like it if we could build friendly relations between us. If that's all right. Now I see. Feel free to visit anytime. <laughs> Same here. Uh, very happy to have you. Thank you very much, Kite. What's all this then? Kite's acting weird. What I'm more worried about is what will happen to the tending of the fields. I'll be sure to ask them. 
but maybe not right now. Just look. They're having so much fun. Enjoy seeing them grow. It's really quite magical. Oh, so that's how they 